before we actually start, I have some tips for you. First, the exercises that follow are divided in two main parts. First, how to expand your vision span and control your eyes. And second, how to develop a wide and deep vision span. Next, each exercise has three levels of difficulty. First, uppercase letters. Second, uppercase letters plus numeric digits. And third, uppercase letters plus numeric digits plus lowercase letters. Right after the video instructions, you have the PDFs. Inside, you'll have a short description of each exercise, then the three levels I talked about. My recommendation is to print these PDFs. At least in the beginnings, it's better to do the exercises printed on paper. Then you can do them as well in front of a tablet or your computer. Next tip. You can repeat all these exercises as many times as you need to. They can be a good warm-up for your reading assignments. And the last tip. In order to get the most out of them, spend 15 minutes every day for 30 days. Small and consistent steps are preferable than doing 3 hours per day once a week. Alright, let's start with the first part. How to expand your vision span and control your eyes. The first exercise in this section is the following. Start with the first line and focus your eyes only on the center letter. Start to read aloud, or silently vocalize in this order. Center letter, left letter, and right letter. That means you focus your eyes only on the P letter. Then you start to notice the left letter, which is N, and then the right letter, which is J. But please keep your eyes focused centered only on the central letter, in this case the P letter. Once you've done that, move your eyes to the next horizontal line and repeat the process. Continue until you've done with that set. Try to do all the three sets of exercises, the three levels. It takes time, I know, but you will get the maximum of benefits. It's normal to have the tendency to move your eyes left and right, but try to avoid that as much as possible. There are two options to avoid this flow. First, record yourself using a camera with a focus on your eyes. Or ask a friend or a family member to supervise you when you train your eyes. To make this process even more effective, here are two additional tips. First, Try to focus your eyes on the tops of the printed letters or words. This way, your eyes will move rapidly and you will do the exercises effectively. Second, do not force yourself to see all the letters precisely. Have fun, as this is not a race or a contest. Yes, it's normal to make mistakes. Maybe you'll do some of them towards the end of these exercises which are more difficult. But you just need to concentrate on training your eyes, on forming new healthy habits of reading. With enough patience, you will see your vision span increases and your reading speed as well. Only after mastering the first exercise, you should move to the second one. Alright, our second exercise is similar with the first one. Start the first line and focus your eyes only on the center letter, in our case D. Start to read aloud or silently vocalize in this order. Center, immediate left, immediate right, far left, far right. That means you keep your eyes focused only on the D letter. Then you start to notice the J letter at the immediate left, then the M letter at the immediate right. Then you start to notice the A letter in the far left and the A letter in the far right. The third exercise. Again. The same instructions. Start with the first line and focus your eyes only on the center letter. Start to read aloud or silently vocalize in this order. Center, immediate left, immediate right, far left and far right. That means you keep your eyes focused only on the U letter. Then you start to notice the P letter at the immediate left, the Q letter at the immediate right, the G letter at the far left and the P letter at the far right. The fourth exercise. Start with the first line and focus your eyes only on the center letter, which is B in our case. 
Start read aloud or silently vocalize in this order. Center, immediate left, immediate right, far left, far right. That means you keep your eyes focused on the B letter. Then you notice the Z letter at the immediate left, the R letter at the immediate right, the T letter at the far left, the Q letter at the far right, then the L letter at the far left, and the O letter at the far right. The fifth exercise. Start the first line and focus your eyes only on the center letter, in our case, F. Start read aloud or silently vocalize in this order. Center, immediate left, immediate right, far left, far right. That means you focus your eyes only on the F letter, then. You start to notice the G letter at the immediate left, the E letter at the immediate right, the I letter at the far left, the V letter at the far right, the Y letter at the far left, the K letter at the far right, the A letter at the far left, and the D letter at the far right. Pay attention that this exercise is quite difficult. Don't worry if it will not work on the first runs. You need to be persistent, and you don't need to have 100% accuracy. Just do the exercises and be persistent as they work.